Hello, my friend, and welcome back to your daily dose of Brood War. We've got a nice little game here. Single little ladder battle between Hero in the top left-hand corner and Ample down here in the bottom right. I'll try to get a translation for all of this chatter. If you don't see it on screen right now, take a look in the description box or the comments section. I might end up having Alex translate it. So it might come out a little bit later after the video pops out. Um, sometimes Google Translate doesn't do such a good job, but if we get Alex Friedman to, uh, to help us out, he's a great translator, shout out to him, then we will probably get more of the context. So, got a 12 hatchery here versus Ample's little wall in. Nothing looking too crazy right now. I was thinking about doing a different video aside from this, but um, we're gonna we're gonna save that for another day. I downloaded a huge amount of very long replays because today on stream, my very last game of the day went for over an hour and sixteen minutes. Was quite a game, man. Was quite a long. Zerg versus Protoss game and I won't reveal what happened if you want to take a look at that go and look at my last broadcast was pretty insane guys but I wanted to look at some higher level replays some pro replays where they went past like 50 minutes past an hour and see what they look like but it seems like not too many not there's not too many of them there's very very few you know hour long pro replays like replays with a when it, where a pro is involved it seems like maybe they just just tap out or they just go all in before uh they go to that type of super super late game maybe there's not as many like really dumb people who just want to play uh and never leave the game like my opponent in that one in the last game of my live stream so I pulled up a bunch of really long games. I'm going to cast them, I think, a little later, but I'm a bit tired today, so I'm going to do this shorter video. But it should be a good replay. We got it from Dude Nerd. He recommended it very highly in the seawall.gg Discord page, so I'm really looking forward to this one. I've been enjoying a lot of TVZ lately, although not as much as I'd like because there's not many Terran players on the ladder at my level. B rank is full of Protoss scum and Zerg players who generally just leave quickly or cheese. A lot of, ra a lot of random players as well. It's been kind of tilting me lately. Playing against random over and over and over again is pretty darn annoying on the ladder. Looks like we're going for a plus one build here for Ample. Ample pulling out this quick plus one and you know we can't really see how many marines are here for by hero like we're not sure that this is not like a two racks play and that there's going to be a uh, a push coming here so we have to send out lings and i think there's enough time on this map if you, you throw down sunken colonies right as they're leaving the base i think you can get there in time i think don't quote me on that but i think that you can make them in time there's quite a few new or maps that are around right now that that is not the case. Like, for example, I don't think on Blitz Y, I don't think you can make them in time. I know on Retro, if you're close spawns, you can't make them in time. And I've been getting killed a lot by that. It's been very annoying. Looks like we're going to have this move out here, but he should see one medic and realize that, okay, we don't need two sunken. Uh, he's going to throw down two sunkens anyway, but I, I really think we don't need these two sunkens. Maybe cancel one of these. Hmm, looks like he will let that finish. That's, uh... Hmm. I kind of want to say that's a mistake, but it is Hero we're talking about here. One medic I don't think can ever break through. Even one sunken with a few lings and Muta's on the way. I think he can hold that. Wow, he got the supply depot. That's wild. So eight lings can actually kill that supply depot, even though the SCVs are repairing there. That's kind of crazy. Trying to kill a uh, SCV or two, but looks like he's not able to get anything. And good job by Ample break, uh, blocking the ramp there just in time. 
Gonna start his turrets now as the mutas are on the way. We got that full production of seven mutas, I believe. Um, maybe not quite seven. What do we got here? Five, six. So you really do with this build what uh, Hero's done. You kind of want to get seven out at the beginning. Like this is really the the key to this build is seven mutas pop out. And you're going to hit all at the same time. Seven mutas will one-shot an SCV. It's kind of the magic number. They will eventually get up to that. He's going to get up to eight. So he can dive. And even if he loses a muta, he can still one-shot. We'll see if he goes for that. He's just going to come around here and maybe take a couple of pot shots. One, two. Not bad. Not bad. Getting a couple kills here and there. Head towards the main base. But good job by Ample staying in the way there. Go for a couple more SCVs. Three. So far, and only taking a bit of damage from these turrets. Four and five. And now it's actually, I think, time to pull out. Six. Gonna keep sticking around for a little longer. As Ample has not even crossed his own bridges. And we still do have these two Sunkins back at home. These two Sunkins slowed us down a little bit in the production of our Mutalis. But Hero here has that defense back at home he can sit a little bit more safely here not worry about you know a couple of marines just running across the map and getting a bunch of kills in his natural so he's gonna be keeping the mutas over by the natural of the terran just to keep the pressure on here ample taking it very seriously even adding on another turret here the turret does finish in time but it looks like it will end up getting picked off you can see some of these mutas are getting quite low. He does lose one of them. And Ample's going to head straight across the map here. I don't think we have quite enough sunken. Okay, two more sunkins are on the way. But are they going to finish in time right now? It is quite close here. He's going to go into the main base. Start to deal some damage to these marines. Ample slowed down a little bit because he's getting ready all his units together before he goes in to bust this sunken line. And Wow, sending the medics forward first here. We do have Lings, we do have Mutas, but that is a lot of Marine Medic. Marine Medic here, very nicely controlled. Going to break through a lot of these Sunkins. Can the Mutas make it back here in time to save the drones? Looks like we're going to start to lose drones now. This is the critical moment for Hero. He's got to save these drones right now. He's going to dive in with the Mutas. Here we go, killing off as many of these drones as he can. Look at him targeting with three Marines here on the right-hand side, picking off a lot of drones, but he does lose the entirety of his Marine Medic Force. And unfortunately, we're not making drones during that. So if you believe that you're going to pick off all of the Marine Medic in a fight like that, it is beneficial to just pump drones um, rather than units, because the units here are not going to be too useful right now. We do have turrets being built right now. We're not perfectly safe here. Actually, Ample really should have built this turret while that attack was going on. He was super focused on killing as many drones as he could, though. The units are not going to do too much for you. It's really the drone. You really want to resaturate these patches here. And he has managed to do that pretty well. We're going to get into Lurker now. And I imagine we'll be heading towards that Defiler tech eventually. We've already got the Queen's Nest, so starting the Hive whenever he gets the chance here. And Apple just going to keep the pressure on, keeping these Marine Medic out in the front. He knows there's no Sunkins here now, so we have to dog this. We have to be careful about letting any Marines just kind of wander towards our natural. So you're going to fly into the main now. Taking a look for any stray SCVs. If there's a supply depot or something building right there, you could definitely pick off that marine or that uh, SCV. Coming back in to take a little peek here in the natural, see what he can pick off. Picking off a few marines here and there, making sure not to lose these very precious mutalis right now. Because we're doing the transition, it's really important that we don't lose any more mutas. We're still building a few more here and there, but. It's really important that we're dumping our gas into upgrades, lurkers, hydras, and eventually that uh, defiler mound and uh, an evolution chamber, some upgrades and stuff like that as well. Pretty good job utilizing this bridge area to pick off uh, more than his fair share of marines. 
They should have been able to hold that a little bit better. Oh, Lynx coming in from the north here. Gonna clean up quite a few of these Marines. The Muta is really doing their part, picking off a lot of this. And it looks like he's gonna be able to drive everything back. Really well done here by Hero. That was a very nice move with the with the Mutas. You can see he played that ring around the Rosie game very nicely, pulling the Marines around and picking them off as he was going. And then as the Marines kind of got split up over here, bringing the Lings in to surround those split off Marines. Really, really well done by him. And Apple is now on the back foot pretty heavily here, although he will be getting into Vessel. And we're getting close to that point where Terran can kind of get unleashed on the map where we have the splash damage necessary to deal with this clumped mutilus ball here. I apologize guys for not showing this more often. I'm much more uh, interested in seeing the uh, micro, but I could definitely put that up on the screen at the same time. So I'll try to do that more in the future. I've got some more comments about that recently, but uh, it seems like I haven't quite learned yet. We've got Lurker out here now, gonna control these bridges. And for me, this is a very difficult position. Um, luckily, Hero has managed to kill off a couple of groups of bios, so it's not as scary, but holding these ramps right here is quite difficult. There's three ramps plus this area to contend with, so we have to be very careful, you know, with the positioning of our Lurkers here. I'm surprised we don't have anything spotting on this left side because a few Marines could easily break off and start walking around and then suddenly stim and hit this base. That could be quite devastating. So a little bit surprised again to see nothing over on that left side. Finally going to send a Ling over there just to make sure that there's nothing coming. And indeed, Ample is just pushing up the middle right now. Are we going to have some Scourge mixed in here? I don't see any just yet. We've got the Defiler out, though. With the Defiler here and the Consume upgrade finished, it appears like Hero will be holding this. Trying to come across the bridge right now. Ample, not a good idea, man. I'm going to back away from this one. Going to throw down another Irradiate. Pretty good split here by Hero. Not the greatest, but saves a lot of his mutas and really... These are not super important anymore. We just want to put them somewhere where they can drop or block drops. I don't know what happened to my my mouse there. Just got kind of stuck. It's been happening a little bit recently. I thought that this mouse would be uh, a little bit more durable, but it appears not. Now we've got Lurker coming up here. Oh, wow. Great hit there. Really great hit. Not very fast pulling back from Ample, unfortunate for him. Does take quite a few losses and gets pretty much nothing. He will get the Irradiate on the Defiler, but that's to be expected. At this point in the game, you're not gonna be expecting to take any hits from the Lurkers. You're just gonna keep your Marine Medic Ball growing and growing and growing so that you can do things like drops, so that you can do things like bus positions. And you're just utilizing the uh, irradiates over and over and over again to gain value at this point in the game now defiler is going to be able to throw down a dark storm do we have a plague no dark storm it is very last moment here he will throw that down we can get a few more radiates over here this is a very aggressive fourth that we see hero taking right now he's going to take that super quick and what will ample's response be Factory has landed here in the front, but he's not doing anything like making mines or transitioning at all into tanks or something like that, which I think he probably should do now. I actually need more factories and some tanks need to start pumping out of here because we are going to get into a massive Hydralisk Ling Defiler swarm here coming up soon. Lurker's going to be transferred down to this position. He does get the Irradiate on the Defiler here. Very nicely done. Getting rid of all the Lurkers over on this side. We've got quite a lot of Fire Bats. If there wasn't this one Lurker here and more coming to reinforce, maybe he could break through this position. Perhaps with a D-Matrix, he could get through there. But instead, just going to wait. Throw down some more Irradiates. It's time for the Terran to take his tax. 
Picking off a bunch of gas intensive units here at the front for free. Just use utilizing that energy over and over again. Now coming forward a little bit too aggressively here. Oh my god, Ample trying to run up this ramp right now. It is kind of crazy, but it's so crazy it just might work. Look at this. He's getting up on top of this ramp and finally a defiler does pop out. So he will be forced back. He even thought about targeting the hatchery there for a second it seems like. But does finally give way here as Hero shoves everything away. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was a pretty wild move by Ample. And a plague going to come down here. Ample trying to still hold this position though. Really well done by him holding that off. Keeping a hero on his side of the map, but he hasn't managed to prevent this fourth gas. And with four gases, hero is going to be massive. Absolutely massive. He actually uh, can put afford to put down a few more hatches at this point. Nice job getting that plague or that uh, irradiate on the defiler. Defiler probably could have gone for a plague there, but instead dropping the Dark Swarm wants to keep himself safe right now because he doesn't really have too many lurkers at the moment. Two more radiates going to go down here. Could be a plague or two. No, no plague and no Dark Swarm either. Okay, here we go. Dark Swarm should be coming down. Here we go. He is ready to defend that position. Oh man, this could be a huge plague. Whoa, that was massive plague. Great job by Hero, catching the retreating army here of Ample. A couple more plagues like that with some good uh, Hydralis connections. He is just going to wipe the floor with Ample. It's, uh, you know, still looking pretty good. Like, we've got 155 supply, but you would be shocked at how quickly that supply can just vaporize in the right conditions. Uh, once we get a couple more plagues here, we're going to see another good plague there on a bunch of Marines. And a fourth base is coming up for Ample as well. Do we have that factory? We do. Tanks are slowly starting to come out here, but he hasn't managed to secure the middle of the map. I would almost want to see Ample hold here and hold here with tanks rather than try to push into the middle of the map. It's really uh, optimal if you can get into the middle of the map, but it's not really feasible at this point. My goodness, look at this spread from Hero here. Some good targeting on some of these lurkers that ran up in the mix, but you know, Hero does take his tax. He takes the blood toll here, mopping up all of those marine bodies. We'll just back away, start to make some more lurkers, bring some more defilers forward for additional plagues we do need to see tanks up on that high ground very soon the heck look at those fire bats man are you serious ample holy crap fire bat city over here i'm gonna pull the trigger on these fire bats send them all forward running under the dark swarm is pretty strong right now Get under that Dark Swarm, the uh, I just really can't do too much to you. Kind of using the the uh, Dark Swarm against the units at that point. We've got a bunker on the high ground here, but no tanks. Critically, no tanks up here on this high ground. He really does need to get some tanks into position. I love the spread here. This will really deter Hero from trying to attack with Hydra towards your natural, but... We need to get tank on this high ground too. We cannot slow down right now. We need to get upgrades for these tanks as well if we want to continue this into the late game. We've already got 2-2 two, two here for a hero, and he should be getting up to 3-3 three, three soon, although he isn't researching it right now. Good God, that plague on all these fire bats. That's so many fire bats, man. They are just ripping apart a lot of these uh, lurkers and... Wow, he actually pushes everything back here. That is crazy to me. The irradiated Defiler running forward here, trying to get some splash onto those plagued Marines. Kind of wild. Look at all the uh, vessels that were badly plagued here. Have now been, for the most part, repaired. Only have like one or two left to repair at this point. So we can start to go out and get some more plague value, or some more irradiate value here. Pretty soon. Oh, darn. The tanks are just arriving now. 
And it is moments too late here because Hero already on top of this base. He's going to be able to claim this. I don't think there's anything that our man Ample can do about this. He is going to lose this base almost for sure. Here comes all the tanks. There's a huge plague. Plague on all of these tanks right now. Firebats are going to try to push forward. Picking off some of those... Uh, some of those lurkers but man i tell you if he had these tanks up here uh, right in that position just moments ago he could have easily held this and now the links are just gonna run forward and one tap all of these tanks oh uh, this is this is going from bad to worse here for ample ample barely hanging on right now he doesn't have any drops going on on the map he's got no presence here to use to push back hero he's just desperately building out tanks right now and making a ton of firebats we do have a lot of vessels so we can radiate a, a ton of units right now but there's just so much here for hero who's been on five uh, four gas for a long time and is about to get to his fifth gas soon another great play goes down on every single vessel and all the marines even the cc is not spared here from the uh, red goo from the chili sauce, as Shun would say. And Hero is just starting to dominate this position. I want to see him use these uh, Scourge to just lower that the HP on that and bring a queen up. Come on, build a queen for me. Come on, Hero, you can do it. Looks like we're going to try and pick off a bunch of these vessels. Vessels do manage to fall back here just in time. I'm going to target down the Defiler. We're not actually going to do so. Trying to fall back with some of these tanks, but this is a really rough position now for Ample. He's going to break out on one side of the map. Try to push forward here. A lot of fire bats are going to jump on top of these lurkers. Many of the lurkers going down before they can even... Oh my god, these these drones, they're so stacked. Oh, get him. Get him. He doesn't have any, he doesn't have any health to stim again. That's so rough. He's not able to stim. Looks like he won't be able to get these skills. Oh, will or will he? Or will he? Oh! No, he does not get the kills. The little fire bat who could, man. Just wasn't able to make it happen. Bunch of irradiates going down here and all the lurkers. Maybe he can get down here and kill this base, but it's still not solving his ultimate problem, which is Hero is on four gas and is crushing. He's stopping our base from going down the fourth base here. Plus, we're going to be losing a lot of these. Come on. No, go for the drones. Kill the drones. The firebats do not kill the hatchery very quickly at all. We need to kill the drones. There we go. Killing a lot of these drones right now. Pretty well done here. But the tank count is not altogether that high. And it's not where we need it to be here if we want to take this to a long game. We need another base. Let's take a look at the minerals right now. Nothing left in main and natural. And this base still does survive. So Hero on the cusp of taking this one home. Just needs to deny another base here from Apple. And he should be able to take this. More vessels going down and there it is ample taps out realizing his position here he's not going to be able to bring this one back a beautiful hydralis defiler game here from hero i especially like that a move he did where he was uh, fighting on the high ground right here and then he came up from behind with the hydra defiler army and right like just a small group of hydra defiler you can see he just had it on one hotkey and he, just as he was holding this off, the army started to back away. And generally when you're playing really fast, you're making a lot of units, you're doing a lot of micro. The moment that you pull your units back is when you go back to hit a macro round. And right as Ample started to pull back, he went to hit that macro round. This army came in, Plague, Dark Swarm, kills a huge amount of bio. And just takes over the map. Now, it was a bit scary here from Hero. Right at this area uh, here. You know, he was having a very rough time. Uh, holding on against that uh, bio attack into his four sunken colonies. But 
he did a great job turning it around also with that micro the ring around the rosy micro here on the two bridges followed up by the lings you know taking control of the map a lot of great things here from hero i think ample played an excellent game as well although he really should have got some tanks up here on this high ground a bit earlier holding this high ground is so important if you're not going to be able to push uh, out here into the middle of the map which would be the the best possible outcome if you can push into the middle of the map and just hold this down with tanks you can pretty much dominate here as Terran but if that's not going to be possible just getting tanks on the this side of the bridge and then putting a bunch of tanks up here and at least securing four uh four bases so you have at least two mining bases once your main and natural run out that gives you a lot of play it gives you a ton of play where you can do drops you can do little attacks up here you can do little attacks down here and kind of deny these bases and you don't need to have more bases than the zerg player if you're on even bases you can fight for a long time on four bases as terran and just starving the zerg player out slowly over time is probably going to be your best bet in a scenario like this but ample wasn't able to hold that base he gets cut down here by hero with the plagues with the hydras guys thank you so much for joining me for your daily dose of brood war i'll see you tomorrow